What's going on guys, Crave here and let's talk about the division and modding for different gun types. Now, we're only going to be focusing on the four gun types as I don't usually use the shotgun too often and I find them to have very limited use except in very specific scenarios to say, um, I don't know, you want to blow up someone in the dark zone, it's quite effective if you're very good at close quarters combat. Now, before we get into the specific gun types, let's first understand that the DPS number when you see when you sort of open your inventory is a very inaccurate uh, representation of the actual damage you do. Now, it's merely a, well, I would call it potential damage, and that can basically be done by your character. Now, it doesn't factor moving away from a you know, grenade detonation areas or avoiding flanking moves from hostile. So it's simply a measure of damage that can be done provided you are on your target 100% of, well, given a specific time. It also includes stats like accuracy and mag size, which if you really think about it, uh, should not be included as it does not really increase the damage done per shot. Now accuracy, what it does is that it simply relates to your reticule behavior and mag size increases the amount of time you can utilize a clip before reloading. Now, this is why I find it very strange to see people mention the DPS numbers uh, when requirements are being mentioned in, you know, in chat when um, for farming runs, for um, DZ groups, and challenge modes. First of all, there's really no way to verify that information since Ubisoft really hasn't given us a method or way to verify it. Second, it is again a very misleading number. Now, it's pretty much the same with health pool numbers. I mean, someone can claim they have 70,000, 100,000 health, but you know, they often stand in grenade blast radius uh, all the time. So it sort of nullifies that value, no matter even if you had a million, if you keep standing in fire or don't take cover. So, you know, health pool numbers won't matter. So in terms of DPS, the... The game computes them being able to output a certain damage but uh, given a certain time but you have to check if they can actually stay on the target uninterrupted. So when you see my modding uh, suggestions, I that's why I don't place accuracy at the top. Now anyway, let's get to it, uh, modding the four different gun types and let's start with the assault rifle or AR. Now the AR is your simply your middle ground weapon and that does nothing special uh, but it is effective at medium and short range. So uh, my priority list will go something like this, so stability, mag size, direct damage, uh, modifiers, uh, rate of fire and other damage modifiers. Uh, well, yeah, accuracy is there, but uh, it's pretty much at the bottom. Now, most variants of assault rifles have decent mag sizes, with often the option to switch from semi to full auto, full auto fire, and uh, the kick per shot is noticeable when using an AR. So stability comes out on top. Now, stability is really good, so that you can have a better uptime on your target, especially if they're moving ones. Now, I added the rate of fire there, depending on whether the weapon feels um, sluggish in terms of its uh, bullet output. For LMGs, the modding list will go like this. Uh, you got stability, direct damage modifiers like weapon and head, uh, additional head weapon and head damage. You've got rate of fire, you've got uh, other damage modifiers, and of course, magazine size. Um, well, for LMGs, this is a, you know, they have this common behavior where the first few sh shots, uh, the kick of the first few shots are pretty strong, but you'll notice that the reticule tightens as you hold down the trigger, and the recoil, although it gets easier to manage that the longer you hold down the trigger, it's still noticeable. However, the large capacity and strong damage it uh, has makes for an excellent suppression weapon and possibly even for non-stop uh, running and gunning in moments in the dark zone. So I place stability at the top uh, for LMGs to address the recoil or the kick issue um, and rate of fire is there to increase the bullet output from the weapon. Now the mag size uh, suggestion mod uh, might be a bit strange given that LMGs have pretty huge uh, mag capacities, but I just put that there since there was nothing, you know, no other mods that uh, could have worked with LMGs. And we're left with my two favorite weapons, so let's start with the marksman rifles. So the stat priority or the modding priority will go like this, headshot damage, crit chance, and then crit damage, and then weapon damage, and then reload speed. Now, marksman rifles have the innate ability to do more headshot damage, so it's a stat that's good to further enhance. Now, if you get the M1A versions of the rifles or similar versions of it, uh, of the M1A, you'll find that while they do have lower damage per shot, they also have a slightly larger mag uh, size, so it functions like a semi-automatic. Now, the crit chance and crit damage are, you know, good stats to work on. So just remember that it won't matter what your crit damage is if your crit chance is too low. So it's still a chance uh, stat, uh, and these gun types have no inherent buff for your crit chance. You could time it pretty well with a pulse, uh, with a pulse wave, but uh, make sure the debuff hits your target before firing your shot. 
And lastly, we do have your submachine guns, which, well, at the moment is quite well known as the most, uh, well, the more power overpowered um, weapon type in the game. Now, here's how I would uh, mod them. So you got crit chance, crit damage, direct damage modifiers, magazine size, and rate of fire. Now, because SMGs have the inherent 20-something-ish uh, percent to crit, increasing your base crit from items is still a good thing uh, to basically do now just remember that if you're already sitting close to about 60 percent you should you know sort of shift your other stats uh, your stats to something else as uh, it's really not useful to go beyond 60 percent so my suggestion is the second one is to simply move over uh, the next um, um, stats you want to look for to crit damage as you know there's, there's no point uh, going for crit if your crit damage is pretty low anyway now if you're if you basically plan to unload on a primary and you know sort of uh, uh, a primary target or a priority elite mob then make sure your pulse hits first and make sure you've got your water buff and you can basically just expect a whole lot of bigger damage numbers this way and that's it for me guys on how I mod the guns that I often use. Uh, just keep in mind that these are general recommendations and does not consider talents or inherent damage bonuses to your weapons and of course your playstyle. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video and uh, let me know in the comment section below your mod preferences for the specific gun types you use. I'll talk to you soon.